Hello everyone, um, so I know I made a video on how I edit my Instagram photos and ever since then I've updated my Instagram and got a new theme. You can't really see but it's really dark and blur, like, it's like a dark bluish theme. You can't really see but if you go ahead and check out my Instagram right here, you can go ahead and see and if I remember I will leave a link in the description down below so you might you can go check that out. So, I actually, if you want to know how I got 930 followers, then don't worry because I have a video on that, so go check that out right now. Um, I'm going to give that video and this video a big thumbs up. Uh, sorry about the weird noise, it's just the washing machine, and let's begin. So, first of all, where I get all my pictures from is an app called We Heart It. It's an app, it's free, and you can get any photo. So, I'm just going to type in, um, uh, let's find, uh, what should we type? In. Okay, I will type something in and then I'll be back. So I found this picture and I sort of like it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon here and download it. And um, once the download is complete, I'm going to go straight to VSCO Cam, which is where I edit all my Instagram photos. So these are just my eight Instagram photos. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, these are just my Instagram photos. So I'm going to click on the add button right here and just add the photo which I just found. And as you can see, it doesn't fit my well, it does fit my theme a bit, but it's not as bluish as I would like it to be. So we're going to transform that now. So I'm just going to um, go to the filters. And here are all the filters right here. The one that I used to get the bluish thing is the A5. And if it's too bright, um, then all I do is I go here and turn the exposure down a teensy bit. And then I would normally leave the contrast at like minus 2. And then I go ahead and go to crop and crop it how I want it to be. And then what I'll do is I'll go straight across to this second to last one which is shadow tint and I go ahead and go to blue and because this makes your picture look really blue I'm going to turn it down a tiny bit so I'm going to put it like on 8 and I'm going to um, go to highlight tint choose blue again and turn that down a tiny bit so if I'm happy with it if I just go back if it matches my theme, then I would normally upload it. If it doesn't, then I'll go back and fix it. So, like, I think mine's a bit too blue. So, I'm going to go back and fix that. Maybe turn that down a little. And you can basically just mess around with things until you like it. Um, so, I think mine's a bit too dark. So, I might turn the exposure up a tiny bit. See how that looks. So I think that now shows my theme. Just to let you know that photo looks really bright. But honestly, honestly, it's really dark. Um, but if you go to my Instagram, you can go ahead and check it out. Anyway, so these are just all my photos um, that I have. So yeah. So now I'm going to upload that to Instagram by clicking on the photo and click on this arrow right here. I'll zoom in right now. Um, that arrow right there. You want to go ahead and click on it. Once you've clicked on the arrow, you'll be like created to a page like this. I'm going to click Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Um, and then, oh, sorry about that, it's just a notification. Then you don't have to crop it because it's already a square because you cropped it earlier. Then I would go to the thing settings and I would turn, turn it up, which I never do. I'll normally turn it down a tiny bit. Then I'll turn the contrast down a tiny bit. Then I'll add a bit more colour just so, you know, just in case. So I'll go to colour. I would, if it, um, because I use blue, and if there's two blues, I would normally use the light blue and just turn it down a little. And this makes it look really vintage. Then I'll go to highlights and just do the same. And then once I'm happy with it, I'll go ahead and proceed to what you would normally do if you were going to upload an Instagram photo. So I'll be back when I've done that. So here's my caption. I found this beautiful photo of We Heart It, thanks at We Heart It. And I'm going to go ahead and 
tag them. And I'm going to go ahead and proceed. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upload it. Um, I'm going to wait for it to upload and there we go. And um, I actually forgot to put some hashtags, sorry. Um, you can always put some hashtags, I just got it from um, ha uh, the my bob. Um, I got it from tags for likes. So go ahead and use that. And there is your photo, and that's the way to get likes in your photos. So yeah. So this is my current Instagram theme. If you enjoyed it, remember to give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Also guys, let me know if you like the camera, um, like face like this, or like this. I don't really like it more like this because... You can actually see more of the screen. Oh, but my phone turned off. Um, but yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My username is right here. Um, there it is right there. Um, underscore elegant underscore princess. I'll put it in the link. In, I'll put the um, I'll put the username in the description down below, and hopefully I'll try find the link. Um, I'll probably oh, whoops, I will find a link, so don't worry. And I also will find a link. Oh, oops. I also will find a link to um, the other video on how I edit my other Instagram photos before and also how to get my followers on Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Bye!